Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the First Minister what the Scottish Government's response is to reports that 600, 600 drinks producers are concerned about the impact on their businesses and the survival of them in relation to the deposit return scheme. First Minister. But we will continue to listen to and, where possible, address concerns that have been raised. Um, in direct response to industry feedback, of course, the Scottish Government has already worked with Circularity Scotland, uh, the scheme administrator, to reduce costs to producers. This includes a reduction in producer fees of up to 40% and a two-thirds reduction in day one payments for producers using UK-wide barcodes. Uh, we continue to work with industry to ensure that there are pragmatic approaches uh, to implementation, uh, and we will do so right up to the point of implementation. Fergus Ewing. Uh, Presiding officer, many of these 600 businesses are in a state of fear and even despair. Some will close, some will fail, and others will no longer sell their own produce in their own country of Scotland. First Minister, unless halted now, this scheme, which most businesses believe to be fatally flawed, will damage the reputation of Scotland as a place to do business. Therefore, First Minister, will you instruct a pause of this disaster of a scheme before it becomes a catastrophe? And will you order a thorough and independent review of how better to achieve its aims and exclude glass from the scope as the top six nations in the world on glass recycling have done. First Minister. We will continue to listen to and engage with businesses. The steps we've already taken, as I uh, set out already, demonstrate uh, that, and I think it is important to say that. Um, in fact, uh, Scotland Food and Drink recognised this approach when they said uh, in recent weeks, these changes mean that some of our key respects have been accommodated, which is positive, and means our collective effort has materially improved the implications for many businesses. In terms of uh, glass, uh, there are 44 countries and territories operating deposit return schemes. Uh, only four of them uh, don't include uh, glass. Um, and of course, it is the case that uh, there are strong environmental reasons uh, for including uh, glass. But of course, uh, on all these issues, we will continue to listen. Uh, one of the issues I, I am particularly concerned to consider further, if there is yet more we can do to reduce any impact on small producers, because uh, I think some of the concerns that have been raised there um, are not unreasonable. So we will continue to take a responsible approach, listening uh, to the concerns of business and responding uh, responsibly in the face of them. Maurice Golden. Thank you, President Officer. Uh, drinks producers have until the end of this month to sign up for the deposit return scheme. Those who do will be financially liable for any delays, having to fork out up to £1.5 million per month. Making matters worse, they are being asked to sign up with key information still missing. But if they don't sign up, they can't sell their products. One leading Scottish brewer described it as, and I quote, extortion tactics. Yep. Does the fin First Minister agree the deadline for such registration should be extended until the full operational, commercial and finan financial implications of the scheme are provided? I'm struck by the fact that when we uh, did announce an extension to uh, the go live uh, date for this scheme uh, back in, I think, December 2021, giving industry additional time to prepare, I think that was criticised at the time by the, the Conservatives, amongst others, in this uh, chamber. Uh, the regulations require producers to register ahead of the launch. Registration is now open. Uh, but we continue to work, and this is important, with Circularity Scotland and with businesses as they finalise uh, their operational delivery plans. This is an industry-led scheme, and the industry needs to work with the scheme administrator on a joined-up approach to delivering it. We have already made changes. I've set these out, uh, and we will continue to engage with businesses on any further uh, changes that can sensibly be made to take account uh, of some of the issues they are raising. Question.